Hey, welcome to my channel. In this video, I just wanted to apologize about my Tourette's and my OCD. I try to hide it when I'm doing my videos because it can it takes control of my movements and it takes control of my speech. And I know sometimes I get tongue-tied and I even apologize for, for pronouncing stuff wrong or, or getting tongue-tied. Um, or you'll notice I'm looking up or I'm looking to the side or turning my head constantly or touching my hair or tapping something. And I try to control it, but it seems sometimes the more I try to control it, the worse it gets or the more it gets amped up is the only way I can explain it. I've been dealing with Tourette's and OCD since I was about seven or eight. I can remember one of the first few times that I had to touch a light switch and even a number, an even amount of times, and it started there. And I don't know why. I just, I cut a light on one day, and then something told me in my head, I felt like something bad was gonna happen if I didn't do it again and make it two times. I don't know, I don't know what causes our brain to, to do these things. I don't. You know, just like me pulling on my shirt, that's another one of the, the tics that I have. I, I constantly rearrange my necklace or my shirt or my touch my hair. Um, my eyes flicker and stuff. Um, I stutter. I notice it can be worse if I'm excited, upset, if I have anxiety or a panic attack. Um, I, I, I clear my throat. That's another tick. I can go... <clears throat> <clears throat> And I have to do it twice. Um, I sniffle. And and it, I don't even know that I'm doing it most of the time. And I know that sounds crazy to people because they're like, how do you not know you're doing it? I've been in a movie theater to where I don't, I'd clear my throat. And then my, my date or my spouse would be like, stop. People can hear you. And then I'm like, oh, sorry. I didn't know I was doing it. One of my ex-spouses was really, really not supportive you know, he would get very annoyed. And I understand because, especially like in a theater, but I can't control, I'm, I'm trying to control it, but I can't control it sometimes. So then I end up leaving the theater so everybody can, which it ain't like I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be loud, but if you don't know you're doing it, I don't know. And I've tried different medications in the past. They seem to make it worse. Um, they tried me on Abilify. Abilify made it 100 times worse. Abilify ended up having me on other medicines to eat, to sleep. So I quit all that. And I said, you know what? I'll just try to do this without anything. And for me, it worked better. And some people, it doesn't. That's why a professional can help you understand what works and what doesn't work. But for me, medicines don't agree with my body the way they do other people. <clears throat> but I did I did talk to someone recently who is always also dealing with the Tourette's and the OCD, and that person told me stop stressing about it. Be yourself. If people pick on you like they did when you were in school, then they're gonna pick on you. So what? Don't hide it. The more you try to hide it, the worse it gets. So just be yourself. So I'm just here to tell you. From here on in my videos, I'm going to be myself. If I have a tick, and which is my eye twitching or me looking this way two times or touching my keyboard or whatever it is, I'm just going to do it so I don't stress my body out trying not to do it, I guess is the way I can explain it. Um, I've done a lot of research about how to ease the symptoms of Tourette's, but it's really hard. Like. I mean, if you can't control it, you can't control it. And that's my issue is I'm so self-conscious. I'm so worried about what other people are going to experience from my actions, from my tapping or clearing my throat or sniffling or my... And I don't do the words necessarily like saying... Um, like some people, you know, will say, ow, ow. And they say it a certain number of times. My thing is like sounds, like I said, with clearing my throat, stuttering, saying um, sorry. I guess I do have like a word thing where I do say I'm sorry. I don't know. It's hard to explain. All I know is I'm just going to, 
I'm just going to deal with it, be myself on camera, and I'm not going to stress about what everyone is judging me for based on it, you know, because, I don't know, I just, I do feel like there needs to be more research with Tourette's. There needs to be more research with autism, with so many things, you know, Asperger's syndrome and, um, like, Down syndrome. There needs to be so much more research that we don't have about how the brain works. I don't know. I just, I thought about it when I was talking to someone earlier and they were like, stop trying to be someone else and be yourself. If you have Tourette's, you have Tourette's and just deal with it. Don't try to be this person who doesn't have Tourette's because it will get worse and your brain will do these things whether you like it or not. So I'm just going to be me. So I'm just going to apologize now if I'm looking away and I'm talking about something, it's not because I don't care. Um, if I'm looking up or my whatever's going on, I'm trying to do the video and I'm and I'm I care about the video I'm doing. So don't think that I don't care or that I'm trying to be funny or that I'm trying to be um, just disrespectful because I'm not. I can't control some of this. <sighs> Anyways, I'm gonna try to do some more videos today. And I'm not an experienced YouTuber either. You know, I'm literally just starting out with trying to be on camera. I've always been so afraid to be on camera or have my picture taken. It, you know, even with selfies, especially with all these filters they have nowadays. And, you know, you see all these beautiful women and men on social media. And they have, you know, they have makeup artists. They have airbrushes. They have all this, you know, filters and stuff. They look flawless. And then someone like me gets on here and you can see my crow's feet, my wrinkles, my blemishes. You can, you know, see everything on me, my pores. And I'm so like, I'm so wigging out over my looks when I shouldn't be. This is me. You know, what you see is what you get. So anyways, I hope everyone is having a great day and I hope you enjoy my content and I'm going to keep striving to do better and make better videos and I'm sorry I don't have the best editing apps that there are to edit and make better videos, but I'm trying. I mean, I am old school, and I'm literally trying to learn. I'm using Nimbus for crying out loud. <laughs> and it shuts my computer down every time I screen record with it. But hopefully I'll have a better editing app here soon. And I can try like Adobe Premiere or something. But that's like 200 something dollars, so... Anyways, this video is long enough. Thank you. And if you enjoy my content, stick around. We're going to be doing a little bit of everything. But thanks for watching.